I was on this live stream last night with you guys talking about Tesla specifically when their earnings came out. We analyzed, we talked about their earnings right when they happened. And the stock initially had a gap down, but we gapped down and we stopped around 172, still above a very key level of support, which we identified and discussed yesterday of 164. So if you were on the live stream yesterday, you remember very plain and simply, we talked about 164 being a big level of support and looking for a bounce off of 164. This is exactly what transpired today. But the game plan today was a little bit different from what we were discussing because of what happened on the conference call after we did our live stream. So after we did our live stream, that call continued and Tesla stock sold off further. Right. So you always have to be careful when you get earnings. You usually have two moves when a company comes out with earnings. You get the initial algo move from the alert of the earnings numbers themselves. So when a company comes out and they, they publish their earnings, algos react to the numbers. Then they have their conference call. And the conference call, the action that takes place after the conference call is typically fueled then by human decision. Once analysts get to listen in on the conference call, they listen. What does the CEO have to say? What does the CFO have to say? What are the short-term hurdles that they anticipate in the near future? How are they going to overcome them? What do they expect going forward? What were the details of why they might have missed on earnings per share of this quarter? All of that gets talked about on the conference call and humans are able to then digest that information and then make further decisions. That sent Tesla stock trading further to the downside and it set up for us a beautiful short trade today, which was trade of the day inside of chat. Again, members of TTG able to bank over a 50% gain on put options on that trade today on Tesla. I have a quick video clip for you. Okay. This video clip is from inside of the true trading group chat room. It's not from YouTube. It's from inside of our chat room before the market ever even opened, where we went over with you very specifically the game plan for Tesla. And you'll hear me discuss in this video, waiting to get short. Don't let the market open and pound that short right off the bell because there's such a huge gap down. You wait for the bounce. And if you got short right off the opening bell, you most likely got stopped out on the move to the upside and missed the better short setup. Stop chasing and start identifying the proper areas for you to enter trades. This is a quick video clip. I want to play this for you guys. Again, this is my analysis pre-market before the market ever opened, telling TGD members the entire plan of attack, how we're going to make money on Tesla. Let's play the clip. So we got to touch on Tesla first. Tesla really deteriorated, guys, as you know, after they reported their earnings, you had that initial sell-off off the earnings announcement, but then late in the late in the session, we really sold off. So this thing was pretty steady around 174. And then it just rolled over at like 6:30 in the afternoon or 6:30 in the evening, Eastern time, and sold off down to 169. We opened up pre-market today, sold off further. Now you're 165. This is a level of support. So I talked about this on the live stream yesterday. If you look at this one. Yeah, 163 to 164, that is a level of support. And if you look at the bottom right of my screen, you'll see there is a support level here and there is a support level here. And since we're sitting right at this level, I'm not going to try to do anything for a short at this level, but you may get a bounce from here that takes you back up into what I believe will be shortable levels. So when you see one, look at the top right of my screen where I have the pre and post market data, you have two very clear levels. 169, you'll see pre market, there's resistance, after hours yesterday, support. And then prior to that, you've got the 172 prior support level from earnings. So what I'm going to look for is this 164 level, is it enough support to cause a bounce in Tesla that takes you back into this zone that I then believe becomes a shortable zone on Tesla to see if it can work its way back to the downside. And I'm going to look for Tesla to get to a minimum of 155. 155 is a gap entry point from January 26th. And then a gap fill, I mean, a gap fill takes you all the way down to like 146. You know, for Tesla to do that, I think would take some time. But I do believe that it's very possible for us to see that gap entry of 155 um, within the next couple of days. And that's how I'm going to look to see if there is um, a trade there for us on Tesla. Verbatim. Verbatim. 
what this stock did today. Right down to basically the penny both ways. So let's recap what we just said. So what did we just what did we just say? What did you just hear? I said, I'm not going to look to get short right off the open in front of this 164 level because I think it's an area of support and I don't want to get short down there is I think it's going to be able enough to make us bounce into the 169 area. That's what you heard me just say. Well, right off the opening bell, we opened up, we're at 165 and from 165, we pushed up to 169.70. If you jump the gun too early and you get short right off that opening bell, the chances of you getting stopped out on this push is very high. So rather than you sitting there and saying, okay, well, I'm going to pound the short right off the open because there's this negative news, identify resistance levels, wait out the bounce. It is a much higher probability setup. It is much better risk reward. You don't have the pressure of having to enter a position right at the opening bell when all of the volatility and all of the chaos and all of the thousands of orders are all coming through at the exact same time. Wait for that storm, that tornado of order flow and volatility. Wait for it to settle so you can have a much more calculated entry. That is what we discussed pre-market. This is the stuff that you'll learn as a member of True Trading Group, okay? Not only will you learn to identify these zones of entry for yourself, but the mods and I give you this every morning. So every morning, just like you heard me say, we go over with you, let's say the four or five different stocks that are our top focuses, where we think the best opportunity is and what are the price zones we want to buy? What are the zones and the prices that we want to short? So you know exactly what to look for before the market even opens, right? I know a lot of you, you guys are busy. You have responsibilities during the day. You've got full-time jobs or you have kids, whatever it is. You don't have the time to sit there before the market opens in front of your computer and go through all this stuff. That's fine. We do it for you. Let us do the heavy lifting for you. Let us help you identify where the best opportunities are. And that's exactly what happened today with Tesla. You see the gap down. We pushed right up into that 169 level. You found resistance, just like we said. And the stock absolutely rolled over and just got demolished. Look at this thing. Just completely got crushed. The worst day this stock has had all year resulted in over 50% gain for members on put options.